Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to take care of the power source in the fiber optical system. The fiber optical cable can provide fast speed, low latency and long distance network. With the single mode fiber optic cable, we can achieve up to 10 km distance between point A and point B. But we cannot connect the fiber optic cable directly to most of the IP devices such as IP camera, access point or NVR because it only can take in the K5E or K6 Ethernet cable connection. So in this case, we will need to use the medial converter like this too. The medial converter will convert the fiber optical signal to the electrical signal inventory we can roll with the K5E or K6. The medial converter also requires a power source as you can see. So in this video, we will say if the power source is not available at the edge, so we need to handle the power source at the edge. We are going to send the power from the back end, but the, power, the voltage drop, also the power loss, need to be hand, handled. Okay, now let's just move to the demonstration board and see how we can handle the power source just sending from the back end. This is the single mode primitive fiber optic cable, it's 300 feet. One end of the cable is connecting to this media converter we just mentioned. The media converter will convert the fiber optic signal to an electronic signal. Here you can see the K5E Ethernet output and the K5E is connecting to the router. This is the router, we got the Ethernet accessing from this router. And the media converter also needs the power. So we can, you can have the power source from the center, but it's quite easy. This is a DC type voltage. And now let's follow this cable and move to the second end. As we mentioned, the premium fiber optic cable can have up to 10 km, but we are using the just 300 feet for demonstration. And this is another meter converter. Basically, it achieves the same function, also convert the fiber optical signal to the electronic signal. I didn't connect anything, but we can connect the KFI Ethernet cable here. And this is the power source. This is the power source input. You see, this, if you take a look at this power source, actually is coming from the edge. It's just following the, this primitive fiber optic cable. This is the solution we mentioned. We can send the power source, this power source from the back end and to the remote for the media converter. And as we know, there are always power loss during, during the long trans transmission. The longer the distance, the more power loss will be. And the higher the currency the edge device taking, the more power loss will be. Eventually, you experience the voltage drop. The power loss will be become the voltage drop. So here we use the DC48. So it's the standard PoE power. And for this media converter, it has one power regulator built in. It can accept the DC24 to DC55. It will convert to the standard PoE. So eventually in this solution, even there's power loss during the long run power code, we still can power up this media converter because it has built in the voltage regulator. And now, if we connect to this camera, this is the camera which supports PoE. Once I connect in, you can see the indicator is on. We didn't use any other power source to power this camera. The power is still coming from the edge. So it, it will get the power will supply this media converter. Meanwhile, it will pass the rest of the PoE power to the camera. Let's see, I think the camera is live. This is the motorized zoom camera. It will zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus, but you need to take a while. So this is the solution. When you need to send the power from the back end, the first thing is your media converter should be able to handle the wide range power because there are always power loss. You don't know what exactly the power the voltage you're going to get at the, ed at the end of the media converter. So if the media converter accepts the wide range power input like this one, it can accept DC24 to DC55, then it will be fine because as long as the inventory, the, la the voltage it stay within this range, it will work. Okay, I know that people are asking another question. Now the, we are using the PoE system, right? This, put, this output port will it output the PoE. What if we just connect a no PoE device, such as like we don't need the PoE. Like this one is the computer, we just need the data. Okay, let's see whether it works or not. Let me just remove the camera and try to connect this network port to this MacBook. Let's connect. 
You see, the indicators on which means we are getting the data. We are getting the data from the media converter. So the standard PoE, it can work with non the PoE equipment or the non PoE equipment because there has power handshaking. Before this media converter release the power to the MacBook, it would send a small message to currents to determine whether the edge device. Like this MacBook, it doesn't require the power, it just will provide the data. It will not send the power at all. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.